afternoon, everybody. I am in the Mom's Choice Awards filming studio at Book Expo America 2013, and I'm joined this afternoon by award-winning author Joan Calder, who wrote Airplanes in the Gardens, Monarch Butterflies Take Flight. Welcome to BEA, Joan. Thank you, Terry. This is really exciting. I'm having a great time. Well, that was my first question was I'm, actually, how's BEA been so far? It's been great, and I'm so pleased to be here with Mom's Choice. I, I walk around and they say, oh my God, you're a uh, Mom's Choice winner, so that makes me feel really good. Oh, that's awesome. We like hearing stuff like that. You know, you guys do, I'm not a writer, um, but, you, and I, but I am a reader, and I love children's books in particular, and you guys just have such amazing stuff. I mean, Airplanes in the Garden, ages four to 10, that is a huge span of interests and attention and you know level of understanding. How did you create a book that speaks to those different audiences? Well, first, in the beginning of the book, there's a story which can be read to children by an adult, or as they're progressed, they can read it themselves. What happens at the end of the book are I have a whole section on the migration map, facts about monarch butterflies, a uh, place on how to do a butterfly garden, and even a song. So they can, if they play the piano, they can play the song and sing the song with them. So it's, um, it's a good mix. So it's got different dimensions to it. Correct, yeah. For levels of interactivity. Right. I heard you when you were signing this morning talking about the Common Core Standards. What are the Common Core Standards? Well, Terry, all of the, not all of the states, 45 states have signed an agreement that they would feature Common Core information. So all the, everyone would be on the same playing field. They would be teaching the same kind of concepts, not necessarily using the same books, but the same concepts for, to ensure success in the schools. My book, is follows the common core information on the life of an insect which is now studied in first and second grade wow that, so, I, don't, I mean i studied insects in seventh grade you know they were bugs before that you uh -huh. know that's the first thing that doc, mr door told us they're not bugs they're insects right. do you have i mean since you talked about going into schools do you have a favorite story about sharing this the stuff the book with children well, wherever I go, I am amazed how fun they are to watch the story, and they write me notes, and they send me letters, they draw pictures of the book, and it's really great. But one story I'd like to tell you is how I happen to really choose the, the name of the book. I went, I, I, two of the caterpillars rode home on the front seat of my truck, <laughs> and on the way home, I worked at the university, and I was, I was doing uh, greenhouse management and growing plants for biology department. So I picked up two of the caterpillars, they rode home on the front seat of my truck. I talked to them all the way home, and I even named them after my students, Sergio and Stanley. I, I love those two kids. They were my lab assistants. So when I got home, my milkweed was way on the top of a hill, and I knew I'd never see them again, because you know, they crawl away, yes. they turn into chrysalises, things like that. Two days later, there was a chrysalis right under the table, right off my dining room. And I said, this is a miracle. This is a book that's meant to be. So that's why I end up writing that, that book. You mentioned the illustrations a little bit ago. This is filled with beautiful watercolor illustrations of the garden. How did those come to be? My illustrator, Kathy Quayle, was very interested in doing it exactly, exactly right. So I invited her to my house. We looked at my garden. I wanted to include the gardening and nature in the book to experience the, the nature for the children. So she came to my house, she saw my arbors, she saw my plants, I even gave her a caterpillar and so she could watch how they move. She wanted to have the real essence of the garden and the caterpillar and she, it was great fun. And she was new to it too, she didn't know anything about a monarch so she was a believer. Well, now, does, do you have one of the watercolors now framed hanging in your house? Absolutely, she did a jaclet of, of uh, several of them. So she's selling them. Great. Well, I hope you enjoyed the rest of BEA, and I'm so glad you were able to stop by and share your story with well, us. Well, thank you for having me, Terry. It's been great. Wonderful.